Hi, I'm two times Britain's strongest man, Adam Bishop, and today I'm going to talk you through how to use the Mirror Fit Jammer Arm. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to look at is a chest press, a seated chest press. So I've got the bench set up in the rack in a normal kind of seated position, and I'm going to sink in, put the jammer arm set around chest height, and for this I'm going to go with the neutral grip. I just feel it gives me a little bit of a better angle for my elbow sitting when I'm pressing. And all we're doing here is just pressing out, bringing it back in. So the great thing about this is it's kind of halfway between a free weight and a machine-based exercise. It keeps your elbows in a nice plane of motion, so you can kind of really target your chest and anterior delts. Next up, we've got an incline press. So what we've got is we've got the jammer arm set out. We've got a pin through one of the holes just to give it a little bit of distance away from the rack. Our bench set on a 45 degree. And all we're doing is the same as the usual incline bench press. Once again, I'm going to go with like the semi-neutral grip here. Just press up, bring back down. Very simple movement, very easy to do, and you've got multiple grips on the jammer handles. The great thing about the jammer arms is the fact we can do some unilateral work, so I'm now I'm going to do a single arm push press. So I'm going to go for the neutral grip here, right on the end, step it forward, and then I'm just going to drive my legs, push straight above my head. So just a single arm movement, make sure we've got a nice bit of balance in the body, and because that weight's going straight up and down, it's nice and controlled. So now we've moved the jammer arms down nice and low, we're going to go for like a bent over row. So for this one, I'm going to go on an overhand grip, Come up to a standing position, hinge at the hip, and I'm putting my elbows back and tight to my body. So the great thing about the lever arm is it actually comes in towards you, so it's not coming away. We're trying to engage that lat, so we're pulling in nice and tight. So we move on to a lower body exercise, we're gonna look at doing a reverse lunge. So once again, I'm gonna face the rack, take which, whichever grip I want. For me, I'm just gonna go into a double overhand, and from there, I'm just gonna step back, lunge in, stand up. My knee on the front leg, should we stay nice and vertical? So to perform a shrug, all we're going to do is pick the jammer arms up and just basically exactly the same as you do with a barbell, we're going to squeeze up. The great thing is we've got some different grips. I'm going to go with an overhand grip here, but you could easily go neutral or even on a 45. We're just pulling our delts up towards our ears and then releasing down. I'm not a big fan of rolling the shoulders back. I think just going straight up and down is a much better way to go. So another row variation we can do with these is we can just go to a single arm bent over row. So the same thing, we're just going to go for a neutral grip, get ourselves into a nice brace position and then pull the elbow nice and tight up towards us as we lift the weight up and down. Next up we're going on to a belt squat. Excellent movement if you've got some back troubles, you're looking to load your lower body without loading your spine. So we're going to take a, a dipping belt and then we're going to put the dipping belt through the, the front loop of one of the lever arms and then we're into our squat position. So not just a normal squat, you're just gonna come down and then squat back up. Really simple exercise, once again, brilliant for people who've got kind of back issues or are scared of loading a bar onto their back. Okay, moving on to our posterior chains, we're gonna work our hamstrings, glutes, erectors, go to an RDL. So we're gonna spin around again, go for an overhand grip, we'll start from an upright position, then we're gonna do a hinge at the hips, so we're locking our lumbar spine, push our glutes back, Keep our knees relatively straight with a small flex, and then come back up. So another posterior chain variation we do is a stiff leg deadlift. The only difference with this in an RDO is actually we're going to start from a dead stop position each time. So with the bo in the bottom position now, we get into our semi-fixed knee position, come down, lock our spine in, and then come straight back up. Down to the dead stop and then pull again. So next up we're going to go for a front delt raise, so obviously targeting the front deltoid. We're going to grab onto the jammer and then just bring our arms straight up with the lever arm, okay? So the great thing about this movement is there's no escaping it. It's going to, the weight's going to stay constant all the way up and down, not like a dumbbell where you can kind of move your elbow, bend your arms, etc. You're really locked into this movement. So another great use for the lever arms is we can actually put a J hook on them and actually use them very similar to a monolith. So you can actually effectively, when you're training at home on your own, you need a little pass out with a barbell, these will do that for you. So we've set the bar up, and all we're going to do, take the usual grip, pull the bar out and then lift off, and they'll swing back. You perform your bench press reps, and then just back into the rack it goes. So hopefully that's giving you a little insight into the things you can do with the jammer arms. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section below.